Today we are going to be talking about everything wrong with Madden 25 from a gameplay standpoint. Uh, we're keeping it strictly gameplay because that is like, you know, that's the most important thing to me. And I think to most people it's the gameplay. There's a lot of other things wrong with it. But maybe we can save that for another time. But today we're going to just talk about the gameplay. And just off the rip, I want to say this is the worst I think we have seen it probably since we've move to the whole next gen movement system with you know the whole more realistic movement compared to, like you know how the old gen was was all crazy and stuff this has gotta be the worst we've seen it yet like they literally dropped an update that did absolutely nothing and it actually made the game worse because it made them uh it took away spinning so you know thanks for dropping a i, I can't really call it an update then what would we really call it Dave? If, if you drop an update and it makes something worse well i guess it's an update because it's something new but uh, I guess they nerfed. They dropped a nerf. I guess they nerfed. They made the game worse. Let's get into all the topics we got to talk about. We got a lot of different things. Uh, the first thing, I think the most glaring problem with this game on the defensive side of the ball is th this might be the worst we've ever seen zones play so far, I think, since we went to the whole next gen movement. I, I would have to say my only reasoning is why they made zones so bad. Well, they've always been horrible, but why they made them this bad compared to other Maddens is this is just a theory I have. What if they did it because they thought that the switch stick was going to be so crazy that they just didn't want zones to be as good like that? That's legit something they might have done. I really hope it's not. Uh, because now, you know, the switch stick is a, it's a good feature. It's probably the only possible way to even play defense on this game. And even, even with the ability to be able to try to use her every round in the game, uh, somehow none of us can still get a stop. So that just kind of goes to show you how bad zone really is. But, uh, yeah, zone is horrible. They like, they, we, everyone i guess needs built-in universal coverage i don't know and one of the worst part of zones this year that uh it gets it was talked about a lot when the game came out but it's not getting talked about as much now because we everybody kind of complained about it and they didn't move on but it just like you know what well, it needs to get fixed uh they broke curl flats now when i said they broke curl flats curl flats are the purple zone uh, in the past, you know, you, you know, you got zone drops. You could put them in any depth. They could play 30. They could play all the way to zero. Uh, not in this game. You cannot put a curl flat at zero to five yard depth. You can. You can do it in the coaching adjustments, but they won't play that depth. They will. Uh, the 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 shortest amount of yards they'll play at is 10. So if you put it on zero, it's going to play 10. You put it at five, it's going to play 15. I don't know why, but that's what happens and that that is something that seriously needs to get addressed it's like that in madden and college like it, it just makes it so much harder to play zone because you can't double mabel if you don't know what double mabel is you put your cloud, cloud flats at 25 you put your curl flats at zero you got something to play the high something to play the low you can't do that in this game which makes it even so much harder to play zone and it's already hard enough because these guys react to nothing they just chop their feet there's no break on the ball it is just a nightmare on defense another really big problem with zone this is something they did last year and it never really got addressed as if to like, hey, is this something we, you guys met to do? Uh, in the past, from Madden 23 to any other Madden, if you press your corners, you put them on a cloud flat, and you put them on, let's say you put your cloud flats on 30. Even if they're pressed, they will run all the way back to 30-yard depth. In this game, and last Madden, if you put your cloud flats to the 30-yard depth, and you do not and you press them they'll only run back to about maybe 15 yards that's about it you would already have to have them not press to run all the way back that depth which is something that's also really annoying because it's like you know being able to press your corners and stuff you're able to mask a lot of coverages and just you know do a lot of different things with that so i we don't know if that's also something they've meant to do the curl flat thing there's no way they meant to do that because that just defeats the whole point of the zone drop part but uh, I'm assuming that that's, I, I don't know, like, we just don't know because they, they don't communicate shit with us. So that's just uh, another thing that makes defense a lot harder to play. And this is all stuff that makes defense harder to play for, like, the wrong reasons. Like, these aren't, like, like the, this is bad. Like, my curl flat not playing the depth I'm putting him at because for no reason why the game is just broken. Like, that shouldn't be like that. My cloud flat not playing 30-yard depth because it's pressed. Like, none of that makes any sense you know what i mean so like these make defense harder to play for the wrong reasons it's just it's just you know the game being flat out broken the movement in this game is just it's awful it's boring it's sluggish it's stiff and it just doesn't feel very fun compared to a game when you play college football 25 it is the complete opposite. It, and I actually compare College 25 to Man 20 in an aspect where I think that it's a very aggravating game. 
but it's a fun game. That's how. That's a really good way. I, uh, I feel like to look at uh, college football twenty five. Uh, Mad twenty five though. I mean, like the only movement we had was pretty much the spin. And with the recent update, they took that away from us. So now there's no movement. The juke, it's whatever. You know, they, they messed the, the juke up for Madden 24. is really good. The soft juke this year, the soft juke is really bad. You got a hard juke. And when I say soft juke and hard juke, by soft juke, I mean not holding turbo and juking how we did it last year. It was great. Like, you could do so many, like, crazy plays with that. Uh, with this year, you have to hold turbo to juke, which it's not a bad juke, but it's, you know, it's nothing crazy. It's nothing that's really going to make too many guys miss. Uh, the spin move was really crazy. Some guys just had to add nasty spin. Heinz Ward, Chris Johnson, you know, you can make crazy plays with that. Uh, not anymore. So now there's just no movement really in the open field, and you just, you know, there's not really any highlight plays. It's just not really fun. It's just stiff, and it's just, it's just boring. It's something that, you know, I, I get like I, I get they want to make it different than college, but I mean, you know, we got we, we got to speed like the left right stick in Madden 25 is so horrible trying to change direction and hit holes and stuff. It just it, it just feels really bad. A lot of people might not know this, but in Madden 25, home field advantage is in ultimate team. I'm pretty sure it's always been in regs and I've clearly franchised, but in ultimate team, every single stadium in the game has some type of home field advantage. Some stadiums have it to where uh, it makes it impossible to hot route a player on your team. You know, when they get to the little question mark and you're trying to hot route them and hot route them and you got to press it like seven times. I counted this year. I had to do it seven times one time. Uh, and you just can't hot route a guy. Yeah, that's back in Ultimate Team. Um, Get that the fuck out. That's awful. The tackling in this game is just as bad as college football. And you know what's crazy about that? For a game that has absolutely no movement, everybody feel like, look how I'm left, I was using my left stick, all left stick on that play, that, that was so hard to watch. For a game that has absolutely no movement, and it just, everybody feels like a stick figure, uh, how is it that tackling is so bad? Well, there's a lot of reasons why. One of them is, uh, it, 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 like in college, like, obviously it's hard to tackle because there's the field is larger you know guys are moving like maniacs and then you know those big guys are just throwing you around right you know what i mean you can you know yeah we we, we get it we live with it is what this naked in this game like the tackling there's so many times you'll just see like a db or not a db but just a guy on defensive in general he's about to go for the tackle and like he just doesn't even get an animation it's almost like the the game doesn't know what animation to give him so he just doesn't make the tackle sometimes you'll see a guy make a tackle and he's not even grabbing an individual we actually saw this in the mcs we saw somebody get tackled and the defender wasn't grabbing him he had a solid i'd say two yards of space away from the guy with the ball tackling which is crazy but uh, yeah, the tackling in this game is just piss poor, and it just looks terrible. Some quarterbacks in this game have animations with pre-snap adjustments, and it makes them unusable. Thankfully, Michael Vick is not one of those guys. I, I would assume every legend that they drop is not going to have that problem, but some of the quarterbacks, like the actual, you know, quarterbacks in regs uh, that are going to drive an ultimate team have this problem. Uh, one guy, a uh, couple guys in particular, I think Pat, I know Patrick Mahomes has really, really bad pre-snap animations. So what I mean is like, before when you're at the line of scrimmage and you're you want to put him on a slant you want to put him on a streak you want to put him on a corner right you're high riding you're trying to do those adjustments and stuff he has these animations that are really just drawn out and they take him a lot longer to snap the ball Jalen Hurts had some of the worst I've ever seen because he has the dumb animations and then he has to do like this weird squat animation it's just so bad so stuff like that I just don't think should be in online competitive play because it's just it just ruins the experience, so I, that's something I, it, it sucks because it makes, you know, some quarterbacks damn near unusable, and I know people are going to say, well, use Conductor and stuff like that. Why would I use Conductor when I could use Michael Vick or really any probably throwback quarterback that's going to come out and isn't going to have any of these problems? The camera angle in this game is also, it's, it's trash. Now, look, I'll be honest, I'm sure most of us at this point, we're used to the camera angle. It's not really a big deal, but... Uh, it, it still sucks. I, I don't really know why they changed it to this. It's really just, it's not very good. It's mostly kind of on offense. It looks really dumb, but, uh, I, I'm used to it. So I, I don't really care if they change it or not, but it, it still sucks. Let's go ahead and talk about some glitches going on in the game right now, because there's a few and I'm sure I might even miss some. First off, let's start with the most famous one, the stem route glitch. Um, 
I don't understand. First of all, this never should have been in Madden. And the reason why is because it was in College Football 25. College Football 25 came out an entire month before Madden, which means you pretty much have an entire month to plan and get this out of the game before it releases. They did not. And then, and I don't want to hear, oh, well, they must have just not know about it. They knew about it because we knew about it, Lily. I think I want to say the the sec I knew it was definitely in the second week. We knew about it in college football 25. I don't know about the first week, but we knew about it the second week. So they had plenty of time to address this stem route glitch. And they drop an update saying, oh, we, we, we fixed the stem route glitch. No, they didn't fix it. Uh, rumor has it they made it faster. I, I say rumor because I don't use it myself, so I don't know. Like, th like I don't know the speed of what it takes to do the stem route glitch, but uh, you can still do it. That, that, that's the point. They didn't do anything. I don't understand what is so difficult about fixing this. Uh, I know one of the things that goes into doing the stem route glitch is um, using the, the stick feature. No, okay, let me not say the stick feature. Uh, the smart route feature. Why don't we just... There's a couple of very lazy fixes you can do because they're a very lazy company. Just take stem writing out the game. That's one thing you can do. Or not stem writing. Not stem writing my fault. Keep stem writing in the game. That's a very good feature. Uh, take smart routing at the game what smart routing does is let's say it's third and ten i gotta um i want to have my in route that i have on the field he's only running about four yard depth but i want him to run to the first down i could smart route him and then he'll run a uh an in route to the sticks which is the, the first down marker why don't you just take it out the game because we have stem routing so we can already pretty much do it it doesn't take very long so uh that, that in my opinion that's the lazy way to fix it or just take uh smart writing out for when you're stem writing like i don't there's so many i feel like quick fixes we could do or just take smart writing out completely another really nasty glitch that is going on right now in man 25 i don't know if you've seen it i don't know how many people are running this or and doing this because i i really do not i'm not playing this game that much because i they need to fix it i've just been playing college for the most part but another really nasty glitch going on right now in the streets is the fact that you can run a quarterback run uh, out of any formation in the game. I don't exactly know the ins and outs of how it works, but it's something to where, like, when your quarterback's about to do, like, some animation or something like that, uh, you just, like, snap the ball, and then he just keeps it instead of, like, handing it off or something like that, and he just runs with it, and it, like, glitches out the defense. So... Uh, I don't know how, I don't know if any of you guys have seen it. You it might be your first time even hearing about it. But yes, that is actually a glitch going on in the game. Uh, I haven't actually played against anyone that ever ran it on me, but uh, it's another really bad glitch in the game. The switch stick is pretty inconsistent in this game. Well, I'm not going to say pretty inconsistent, but it's not as consistent as you want it to be. Uh, for example, because I, I, I say over the last couple days, I've been using it a lot. It's definitely been like one of the focal points I feel like on my defense. I've been keeping my defense a little bit more base, sending pressure, and just kind of switch sticking and playing routes and stuff just because I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of the only way to play defense right now in this game. But uh, when I say it's been a little bit inconsistent, for example, let's say I'm on my middle back when I start to play. Um, I want to switch stick to my, let's say, let's say I'm in like a cover two shell, so I got two safeties over top. Let's say I want to switch stick to my left safety. Sometimes I'll try to do that and I end up on the right safety. So, you know, that, that, that can't really happen. They got to make sure that's a little bit more consistent. Uh, but for the most part, I think the switch stick mechanic is, you know, w w if you want to use it, uh, it, it's, it's what you want. Now there is a setting where you can turn it off. So if you don't want to use it, just turn it off. The boom stick feature in this game is literally pointless. One of the biggest things they marketed to us, uh, going into Mad 25 was tackling the boom stick, all that stuff. That was like the big thing they worked on. And it is literally, it, it's pointless. I don't care. I, I don't know how many green like uh, uh, hit sticks I've gotten because you know when you get that green hit stick it's supposed to like have a you know really increased chance of getting fumbles. Uh, yeah, that shit was a lie because I get that shit like damn near every game and I don't get any fumbles. Like I I and I'm serious. I think I've caused more fumbles just getting like a normal hit stick like like when it's like orange or something like that than compared to when I get the green hit stick. So uh, maybe we can like tune that a little bit more. That would also help out with uh you know get it getting some stops on defense or you know something so maybe we can uh get that changed but as of right now that whole boomstick thing that they promoted is it's just a visual thing it's not it doesn't it increase fumbles or anything left-handed quarterbacks still have a hitch when trying to roll out the pocket in madden 25 this has been a problem in madden since i don't even know it's 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 been like this for the longest and it's uh Still nothing, it's still something that just has still not been addressed. I don't know if it's ever going to get addressed. And when I say they have a hitch, so 
Uh, clearly, obviously, any quarterback is going to have a hitch rolling out to the pocket of their opposite side. Jalen Hurts, right-handed quarterback, he rolls out to the left. Of course, there's going to be a little bit of a delay, but it's not as bad compared to as a left-handed quarterback trying to roll to the right. For some reason, their hitch is just so much more severe. And when I say hitch, it's almost like they have to completely pause to do the rollout compared to like a right-handed quarterback rolling to the left like yeah there's a little bit of a hitch but it's not like a pause like he can still get out there pretty fluently so it's just it's just harder to roll around with a left-handed quarterback to the opposite side of the field uh and it shouldn't be like that it should be equal for you know just because he's left-handed or right-handed it should be like the same speed but left-handed quarterbacks they just get it worse i got a couple more things here that are uh they i, I guess they are kind of gameplay related i guess they're more they're on field related so i guess it's kind of gameplay uh, we were told going into Ultimate Team for Man 25, there was going to be an option, uh, I think, for seasons to where we'd be able to change the weather for our home games. You know, if you want to have a snow game, if you want to have a rain game and stuff like that, we were allowed to, uh, they, we were told we were going to be able to do that. We were, they, they didn't say like, oh, we're going to drop this later in the year, which they do with some things. Uh, they didn't say that. They literally said that we were going to be able to do it and we can't. So we don't really know when that's going to happen but at some point i would assume we would get that uh another thing that we were told we we're going to get this year now they did say they were going to drop this later in the year but uh can, can we at least get a date when because this is a really big feature uh being able to save your audibles in mutt this is something we've been asking for four years we're going to be able to get it we don't know when we're going to get it this year my guess is december i i'm going to say that's around when we get this which is insane because you know, that's for that. I guess it's not late in the year. I guess it's, it's late in the year, depending on, you know, I mean, it's zero chill. So, you know what I mean? But uh, we, we don't know when we're going to get that. I would like to know. Being able to save your audibles, is just it just saves so much time. Like, you got to do it before every single game. Nobody feels like doing it. Why can't we just save it? It's such a simple thing. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's been in franchise, I think, for the longest. So, you know, it's one of these things where, like, it's in the game, like, why can't we do it in this game mode? You know what I mean? So hopefully we get that pretty soon because that's going to, you know, it's going to, you know, make offense a lot. Well, it's going to make it, I guess it'll make it a lot harder to stop. But I mean, my offense is already damn near impossible. So I, I guess it won't make a fucking difference. That is everything, though, that I could think that is possibly wrong uh, from a gameplay aspect right now with Mad 25. If there is anything that I have forgotten, let me know down in the comments because I'm short or something. It's, it's hard to think of like everything wrong with this game because there is just so much wrong with it like if we if we wanted to get off talk off topic and just, just do shit that wasn't gameplay oh let's talk about people don't have the rookie premieres people never got their ultimate alumni players like there's, there's, there's so much more but we just wanted to keep it strictly gameplay and i know i'm, I'm still probably forgot stuff but yeah, this is definitely probably the worst start to any Madden I've ever played in my life. This is a really bad game. I have barely played this game at all. I have played, I think, two total seasons. I've played a couple Mutt Champs. I've played, like, one Gauntlet. I just, uh, I don't care, really. I mean, the game's in a really bad state. They gotta drop some updates to get me to get on this game. Till then, I'm going to keep playing college football, enjoying my time on there, and I would recommend that for everybody else. If there is anything that I missed, though, man, comment it down below. If you guys did enjoy this video, man, drop a like. Until the next time, man, I will see y'all in the next one.